Have you ever wondered how the Toyota hybrid powertrain system can drive using electrical power from an electric motor, power from a gasoline combustion engine, or both while still maintaining fantastic performance and fuel efficiency? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down exactly how the Toyota hybrid powertrain system works. By the end of this video, you'll understand what makes the Toyota hybrid powertrain system different, how the Toyota hybrid powertrain system switches between different power sources, and lastly, why this technology is so efficient and reliable. Oh, and fun fact, Toyota hybrid vehicles have been known to make some pretty interesting noises. Which are all completely normal. Let's start simple. A hybrid Toyota uses two power sources. One is a combustion engine and the other is an electric motor. Both help to move the wheels and get the vehicle going. Now, mostly Toyota calls their hybrid powertrain systems the hybrid synergy drive. It's a super smart system that blends these two power sources to get the best of both worlds, which is long range of gasoline and efficiency of electricity. Here's where the big idea or really the difference of having a hybrid Toyota versus a non-hybrid Toyota comes into play when you're talking about efficiency and saving you fuel. In a hybrid Toyota, the electric motor handles mostly low speed driving and stop and go traffic, where gasoline engines are less efficient. Also in hybrid Toyota vehicles, the gasoline combustion engine will kick in during higher speeds or when more power is needed. And together, these two power sources work seamlessly, so smooth that most drivers do not notice or can't tell when the transition is happening or takes place between one power source to the next. Continuing to keep everything simple, let's talk about the main key components of a Toyota hybrid powertrain system. But before I do that, I just want to stop to take a second and say thank you to all of the new existing current and past subscribers on this channel. I've been reviewing this channel and I did notice that quite a bit of you who keep coming back to watch videos like this are actually not subscribed or not subscribing to the channel. So in case that's one of you, please take a moment to go down and hit the subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me. All right, let's take a deep look inside the system of the hybrid Toyota vehicles and you'll see and notice that there are four main key parts and components that make a hybrid Toyota. One is the super obvious, usually a four cylinder naturally aspirated gasoline engine. Sometimes you are going to see a hybrid Toyota vehicle combined with a four cylinder turbocharged engine to help with the performance and efficiency. But for the most part, most of our Toyota vehicles are combined with just a simple four cylinder gasoline combustion engine. It has a super important role of powering the vehicle directly. And in most hybrid Toyota vehicles, the gasoline combustion engine can be used to recharge the battery through the generator. Number two on the list in terms of main components is the electric motor or generator. This motor can drive the wheels, generate electricity, or do both. This key component also has a super important job to do and an important role because when you slow down or brake in your hybrid Toyota vehicle, it acts as a generator, turning motion back into electricity during a process called regenerative braking. Number three on the list in terms of super important key components that make your Toyota hybrid vehicle a hybrid, that is the hybrid high voltage battery pack. This is one that many viewers speculate and are concerned about because of the risk of failure from these hybrid high voltage batteries and the large cost to repair or replace that hybrid high voltage battery if something ever went wrong. But I can assure you the failure rate on a hybrid high voltage battery from a Toyota vehicle is almost non-existent, especially if you keep up with your maintenance and routine checkups during the lifetime or ownership of your Toyota hybrid vehicle. And I'll stop to take a second to just tell you guys about an ebook that you can actually get your hands on. I'll leave a link in the description below. This is a hybrid longevity guide for a Toyota hybrid vehicle. It explains all of this a little bit more in depth in terms of maintenance, in terms of what to expect, in terms of efficiency and how to improve 
performance, and longevity. But let's continue on with this key component number three. So your hybrid high voltage battery pack is usually where the electricity is stored to power the electric motor of your hybrid powertrain system. Now in most Toyota hybrid vehicles, this is typically a nickel metal or a lithium ion battery, which is actually quite smaller than a full EV. If you have a full EV vehicle, like for example, the BZ or let's say a Tesla, these hybrid high voltage batteries are usually much larger than the high voltage battery packs that you would find in let's say a Toyota hybrid vehicle, but it still serves the same function as to constantly recharge as you drive. Here's where the fear comes in with most speculations and most customers or viewers that are a little skeptical about getting into a hybrid or a hybrid Toyota vehicle. And that's usually due to the fact that they're worried that the hybrid high voltage battery capacity would degrade quickly or would degrade after time, whether while it's in warranty or outside of the factory warranty. And what I mean by that is generally your hybrid high voltage battery is supposed to recharge through a process like I mentioned called regenerative braking, but the fear comes in where the actual battery wouldn't fully recharge. It would actually only reach, you know, a quarter or half capacity. And when this happens, your hybrid synergy drive system wouldn't be able to be as efficient because there wouldn't be enough power stored to actually work that electric motor. So what happens is your gasoline engine would kick in more often than it should, creating a worse fuel economy. But I can assure you with Toyota vehicles, the percentage of failure rate is extremely low. Again, trying to keep it super simple here. This is number four. This is probably the final most important key components of what helps get your Toyota hybrid vehicle going and what makes it a hybrid. And that is your power split device also known as your planetary gear system. Now, this is really the brains of the Toyota hybrid powertrain system, and here's why. So this power split device in your Toyota hybrid powertrain systems or your Toyota hybrid vehicle actually replaces and acts as a transmission. It uses clever gearing to smoothly blend engine and electric power together, ensuring that no traditional transmission is actually needed. This is what makes Toyota hybrid powertrain systems so unique. There's no clunky gear shifts, just smooth, silent transitions between electric and gas power. All right, let's touch on the key components of how the power flows and the different driving modes that are available to most Toyota hybrid powertrain systems. Number one, and probably the most obvious driving mode in a Toyota hybrid vehicle would have to be EV mode. When in EV mode at low speeds or gentle acceleration, the car can run purely on electricity. It's quiet, smooth, and uses zero fuel, perfect for parking lots or city driving. One thing to keep in mind, EV mode will not be available if your hybrid high voltage battery is not at a certain capacity, which is usually full or near full. To help gauge exactly what the power levels are on your Toyota hybrid powertrain system or your Toyota vehicle, whether it's a RAV4 or a Highlander, you can actually use the energy flow monitor, which is available on most hybrid powertrain systems from Toyota. And this will show you how the energy is flowing. And it, more importantly, it will show you what the capacity level is at for your hybrid high voltage battery pack. And when it is at a certain amount, which is usually full or near full, you will have access to the EV driving mode. The number two driving mode would have to be the hybrid mode, which is the engine and electric system working together. In regular hybrid mode, when you accelerate hard or drive fast, the gasoline engine will kick in to help the electric motor. They share the work, improving power and efficiency. And number three driving mode with your Toyota hybrid vehicle. Now this is probably the mode that is the least favorable when it comes to efficiency and fuel economy, and that is the gasoline combustion only engine mode. That's right, you do have the ability in a Toyota hybrid vehicle to power the wheels by using just your combustion four cylinder or V6 naturally aspirated or turbocharged like this 4Runner Trail Hunter engine. Now, when you're in engine only mode, so using only your gasoline engine, it's usually because it's actually more efficient to produce power that way, given the instructions you're giving your Toyota hybrid vehicle to drive rather than using your electric system or your electric motor. 
but in doing this, your electric motor still serves a valuable purpose, and that is to potentially spin in reverse and generate electricity and power, help keeping your hybrid high voltage battery stored and ready to go. Number four on the list, this is definitely the anchor in the Toyota hybrid powertrain system. This is what helps to keep everything going smoothly. This is regenerative braking. How it works, when you brake or slow down, the electric motor switches roles. It turns into a generator, capturing kinetic energy and storing it back into that high voltage battery pack. And number four on the list for valuable key components in your Toyota hybrid system to help it work the way it does is the smart control system. Now, this is otherwise known as a hybrid control unit, which behind the scenes constantly monitors speed, throttle, battery charge levels, and power demands. In just milliseconds, this system can decide whether to use electric power, gasoline combustion power, or both to get your vehicle going. And this all happens seamlessly behind the scenes and all automatically. There's no input needed from the driver. That is why Toyota hybrid powertrain systems feel so effortless because all of the thinking is already done for you behind the scenes. Now, aside from all of this, now that I've helped to break it down a little bit more simply for you all so you can understand exactly what's going on with your Toyota hybrid system once you start the vehicle and go, let's understand why these are so special. Mainly, Toyota hybrids are in super high demand and have amazing resale value plus all of the above because they are efficient and reliable. For example, energy that would normally be wasted like heat or braking is actually reused to generate power. And that gasoline combustion engine underneath the hood runs in its most efficient range as often as possible. In terms of reliability, the system has been refined for over 25 years with the start of the first Prius in 1997. And in Toyota hybrid vehicles, when you're talking about reliability and maintenance, the electric motors and planetary gears have no clutches, belts, or conventional transmission parts, making for fewer things to wear out. All of these reasons and more is why Toyota has become the gold standard for hybrid technology. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video topic and review. I've been asked to do this video by many viewers and potential customers of a Toyota hybrid vehicle. Hopefully I've given you a lot of trust in how the hybrid powertrain system works. If I did, smash a thumbs up and we'll see you all in the next video. Take care.